welcome to our Acumatica snapshot about outbound email processing in Acumatica. I'm Bob Scott, uh, Executive uh, VP of ERP Systems with NIMS and Associates. Acumatica at standard comes with very powerful email processing. Today, we're going to be focusing just on outbound and sending emails outside of the system. Email and the ability to send emails is part of Acumatica's digital transformation, moving companies from analog businesses all the way to digital businesses. Our agenda for today is we're going to talk about types of outbound emails. We're going to talk about system email accounts. We're going to talk about assigning email accounts and user email settings. We're also going to talk about sending user-initiated emails and system-initiated emails, system email accounts. System email accounts. Acumatica uses the concept of system email accounts to launch and, and retrieve emails. System supports a wide variety of email formats, including Outlook, Exchange, Google, et cetera. There's two basic strategies for setting up system email accounts. Some customers are going to set up one single system email account, maybe something called accounting at acumatica.com or accounting at yourcompany.com, where all emails sent out of the system are using the same email address. This can be convenient for setup purposes. And as long as the return email is a email address that is monitored, works well for many companies. Other companies are going to set up individual system email accounts for each user in Acumatica. The advantage of setting up individual email accounts, individual users in Acumatica, is that the reply email address is the user's own email address. So customers and vendors that reply to an email that's sent out of Acumatica will actually have a email account that they can reply to that is monitored and can be acted upon quickly by the Acumatica user. Types of outbound emails in Acumatica. I've broken these down into two distinct types of emails that are outbound. One is user initiated, meaning that a user initiates the process to send the email, either from a report or from a form. The user is launching the email dialog boxes and sending the email. The second way is called system initiated, my words. But system initiated means that Acumatica is monitoring events that are happening in the system and then launching emails either internally to Acumatica users or externally to customers and vendors. System initiated emails can be for things such as low stock quantities on certain items, overdue account balances. User initiated reports our emails are typically uh, reports and forms that can be sent from the system. Triggered emails are emails that are sent directly from a report or an email, but sent to a customer or a vendor and according to the setup of the customer or vendor. I'm going to walk through a couple of examples for that now. In Acumatica, any printed report or form can be sent via email. In this case, I'm generating the AR aging report. At the top of printed reports and forms, there's a button called send. Clicking on the send opens an email dialog box and attaches the report as a PDF to the email. From the email dialog box, I can dictate who I'd like to send it to. When I click on the spyglass in Acumatica, a list of all contacts come up. I can type ahead and find the contact that I'd like. The email address, and I can have it to CCs and blind CCs. I can put in a topic. And this is ready to be sent. I click on send, that email has been sent to the customer. 
Triggered emails are emails that are sent to a specifically identified email recipient at a customer or vendor site. For example, when I'm on invoices and memos, I can merely print and click email and the system will send the email automatically to the designated contact. The designated contact is set up on customer maintenance. On customer maintenance, there's a tab called mailing and printing. For each form that a customer may receive, which would include sales orders and invoices and sales order invoices, et cetera, you can designate who is going to be receiving the invoices when the invoices are triggered as an email event. This setup of emails for a specific form for a specific customer follows the system through. So for example, clicking on email will send an email to that designated user. But also when selecting to print and send emails from the system in a batch mode or in a kind of a massive way, that email is already selected and the system knows who to send it to. So the proper configuration for the customer and, and who's going to be receiving which form is important when sending it that way. So as a recap, there's two ways to send emails outbound for a form or a report. I can print it and send it, which will launch the Acumatica dialog where I can send it to whomever I want. Or if I click on the email button, Acumatica is going to retrieve the email settings for the customer. And if that email address is filled out properly, we'll launch and send an email automatically to the designated customer contact. A user's email settings is controlled by the, the user settings in the upper right corner of Acumatica. If I clicked on uh, Acumatica in the right corner and I clicked on my profile, I have the opportunity to set up information. So for example, I can set up a default email account that would be used. That is super useful when lots of specific system email accounts are set up on a user by user basis. Then I can designate my own specific email account as my default email account. It's also good that I can put in a signature on my emails. So a signature can include logos, can be super fancy, and can be designed in HTML. In this case, I'm just putting in a very easy and simple signature. System initiated emails called business events. Business events are actions designed by users and administrators that trigger emails to be sent based on certain things that are happening in the system. These business events can be used in a wide variety of situations. So for example, when an inventory item is reaching a non-stock situation, you can send an email to the inventory manager. Or when an overdue balance is found for a particular customer, then that balance information could be sent to the customer as well. Those are just two examples of the, the many ways that business events could be used. To demonstrate the power of a business event, we're going to be looking at a business event for to send invoice notifications to customers where the invoice is going to be due tomorrow. The first step in the process is to create the business event. Business events are given a name. We're told how often to do it based on a record change or based on a schedule, which we're gonna be doing in this case, every periodically we're gonna schedule this, or this can be triggered by an action. An action could be an action that happens on a record on a generic inquiry in Acumatica. This is going to be used on a generic inquiry. So this generic inquiry is going to inform this business event of the data that should be specified or considered to trigger an email event. So in this case, we're looking at this generic inquiry and we're saying that the field name on that generic inquiry called due date is going to be equal to today minus one. 
So in other words, tomorrow. A subscriber is indicating which email notification and which users or customers or vendors are going to be receiving the email. A subscriber is defined. In the subscriber information, you designate parameters that are going to be used on the email. So for example, I am telling the system that it's coming from a particular email account in our system. It's going to a particular user, in this case, the contact email for the invoice. I have a subject line, and then I've got information. Information, this highlighted information, is information that's actually pulled from the database and kind of used as a template for the email. This email is designed then to be scheduled or triggered to run periodically. You can also tell the system to attach reports to the email. So in this case, we're telling the system that they are going to be attaching invoices that are going to be due tomorrow to the invoice email that's going to be sent to the customer. And that's it. When this is scheduled to run, the system will automatically trigger those events to be sent and, and run. You can see which emails have been sent in the system by reviewing all emails that are either pending processing or emails that have already gone can be seen as well. This is a listing of all emails that are pending processing in the system. Normally, we would schedule these to go out periodically. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can contact NIMS & Associates at erp at nimsassociates.com.